Today I will show you how to install Git, configure it and start working with it in Visual Studio Code, perfect for beginners. I will also explain how to push changes to a GitHub repository and how to synchronize updates if more than one person is working with the same repository. First we need to open the browser and go to the website gitacm.com slash download slash linux. Now open the terminal and add the git repository in Ubuntu. Then update the package list and install git. Of course, adding a repository requires administrative privileges. The same applies to updating package list and installing git. We can film the action and install the necessary packages. For git to work correctly, we also need to configure it. First, we set the username that will appear in commits. And don't forget the email address, it should match the one used in your GitHub account. The next step is to visit code.visualstudio.com to install Visual Studio Code on your Ubuntu machine. Choose the dev package and download it. After the download finishes, it will appear in your download folder. You will need to install it. Enter your admin password and proceed with the installation. Now we can open Visual Studio Code and using the source control tab, clone a repository. Go to github.com and create a test repository. In our case, let's name it as test repo. Copy the HTTPS link and we will use it for cloning. You will need to choose a local folder where the project files will be saved, then open the repository right away. Let's now create our first file, for example, index.html and add some content, a simple structure and a hello world heading. Save the file and go to the source control tab, where the new file will immediately show up on the changes. We can stage it by clicking the plus button and then commit the changes, but if we made a mistake, we could discharge changes by clicking discharge, but in this case everything is fine and so we can stage the file and write a commit message like edit index.html file and then press commit. However, if we refresh the GitHub repository page now, it will still be empty, that's because we haven't pushed the changes yet. In the changes menu, click the three dots and choose push. The GitHub extension in Visual Studio Code might ask you to log in in your GitHub account. A browser window will open where you need to sync in. And after that, the new node will appear in the git graph and if you refresh, the github page will see the new file. Now let's look at a different situation, we want to pull a changes from the repository. For this, we will create a new file directly in the github repository. For example, a CSS selector for body, background color pink. 
we will save it as style.css, then recommit the changes. Now we have a new file, but it's not visible in the local project yet. So we go to source control and click pull to synchronize the changes. And the nearly added file appears. That's it for today. If you found this helpful, leave a comment and subscribe for more. See you next time!